Hi everyone, my name is Becca Russo and I will be facilitating this event. Welcome to the Probe Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so your panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And finally, this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com backslash probe. So now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. First, we have University of Montevello. Take it away. Okay. Hi everybody, my name is Celia Venable. I am the out-of-state admissions counselor here at the University of Montevallo. These are just some quick facts about us. We were actually founded in 1896. We are located in central Alabama. So there's actually one of our residence halls has a star out in front of it that represents the exact center of Alabama. We have a 2,600 total enrollment. So what that means for you is pretty small class sizes. So the average class size is about 23 students. Uh, just kind of depends where you're at in your education. It really could range from some of your general education classes being at 40, 45 to your senior capstone class being at 12. Um, we do have 21 NCAA division two athletic teams as well as 90 plus student organizations. So 14 of those are Greek, we do serve three councils here. So NPC, IFC, and NPHC. You can just see here some of our organizations. They do have a big focus on philanthropy and a huge focus on academics here at Montevallo. Like I said, we do have 21 NCAA Division II teams. So you can see all of them listed here. We did add men and women swimming this past year. We have two spirit teams, which are cheerleading and dance, and we just added esports this past year. So if you're interested in video games, we do have an esports team, and you can see on this presentation four of the games that they play. We do have four colleges here on campus that you could choose your major between. So we have the College of Arts and Sciences. So this is a lot of your science, math, English, foreign languages. Some notable ones here, some of our most popular are speech language pathology, as well as our pre-professional majors, such as dual engineering, pre-dental, and pre-med. We have the Stevens College of Business. We do have the AACSB accreditation that only 10% of business schools have across the country. And so you can see here we have accounting, finance, marketing, management, and computer informatics under that. Then we have the College of Education and Human Development, so education of deaf and hard of hearing, early childhood education, elementary education, exercise and nutrition science, and family consumer sciences. I do want to know if you wanted to teach secondary education, we do have our fifth year program or um, where you would major in the subject you want to teach. And then in your fifth year, you go ahead and get your master's in education. So you'll already have that master's. And then we have the College of Fine Arts, which houses art, communication studies, mass communication, music, and theater. These are our admissions requirements. So we do require a 2.5 GPA or a 20 ACT or a 1030 SAT. You'll go on montevallo.edu, pay a $30 non-refundable application fee. Then you'll send all of your transcripts as well as your test scores. I do want to note we super score for both admission and scholarship purposes. So what that means is we will take the highest score from each subset and put it together for a new super score. So that's a really awesome thing that we do. These are our scholarships. If you're coming in fall 2021, I'll direct you to look at this second line here. Um, if you are entering fall 2022 or afterwards, pay a little more attention to this top line. Currently, we are test optional, but we won't be for fall 2022 as of right now. That could change. So some of our scholarships are the MAL scholarship that requires a 21 to a 23 ACT and a 3.0 GPA for $2,500. The Academic Recognition Scholarship, which is a 24 to a 26 ACT, 1160 to 1250, with a 3.0, that is $4,500. Freshman Leadership is a 27 to a 29, with a 1260 to a 1350, with a 3.0, which is 6,000. And then the Presidential Honor Scholarship, which is a 30 to a 36 ACT, 1390 to 1600, with a 3.0, 49,000. 
This MAP scholarship is our full tuition, room, board, and fee scholarship. We do require a 30 to a 36 ACT or a 1390 to 1600 SAT with a 3.5 GPA. You'll be invited to apply for this. And then if you do apply for it, you will have to send two letters of recommendation and a resume. And then you might be selected for an interview. And then from the interview, the recipients are selected. And then we have the out-of-state scholarship. If you have a 3.0 or higher or are a part of an athletic team or a fast fishing team, you will get in-state tuition. So it's about a $13,000 value. We do offer additional scholarship. So you will go on the Montevallo Award Spring website. If you're looking to come in in the fall, this deadline unfortunately has passed, but you can apply for those all four years. It's typically open from September 1st to March 1st. And then we do offer student aid. So whenever you fill out your FAFSA, you can see our student code here. It'll go straight to our financial aid office and they'll get you packaged up with Pell Grants as well as student loans that you can accept. And then their contact information's here. Give them a call, they're very fabulous. And then this is my contact information. So if you have any questions, you can email, call or text me anytime. I'm more than happy to elaborate on anything I talked about today. Thanks so much. Thank you. Up next, we have the University of Mississippi. Let me share my screen. Okay. Okay, so good evening, everyone. My name is Kelly Slater, and I'm the Regional Admissions Counselor for the University of Mississippi for Georgia and South Carolina. So let's get started. So University of Mississippi is also affectionately known as Ole Miss. It was founded in 1848 as the flagship university of the state of Mississippi. We have a student enrollment of over 23,000 students uh, with a student to faculty ratio of around 17 to one. So you get a pretty diverse, a large and diverse student body, uh, but still, can have the smaller class sizes, especially the further up um, into the degree you get. We are a Carnegie R1 research university, meaning a high level of research on campus um, in the state's only medical center in Jackson, Mississippi. We receive several such as most beautiful campus and one of the safest campuses. And we have a number of top national ranked programs, uh, including our school of accountancy, uh, pharmacy, um, several other areas. So a little bit about where Ole Miss is located. So we're located in Oxford, Mississippi, which is in the northern part of the state. Oxford has been called the cultural mecca of the South, um, been named a top college town by several publications. We play host to the annual Oxford Film Festival and Double Decker Bus Festival each um, fall and spring respectively which attracts visitors from around the state and across the country. In addition, we have a number of James Beard award-winning restaurants, local boutiques, and thriving nightlife in our nice uh, downtown square, historic downtown square area. And we're about an hour south of Memphis, about five hours uh, west of Atlanta. So academically, we have over 80 different undergraduate majors. Um, within that, there are numerous other minors, opportunities for specializations, emphasis areas. Um, so a lot of different ways to customize your degree program um, at Ole Miss to really fit to what your end goals are and what you're ultimately wanting to do. We have um, all of our different academic units broken down from the College of Liberal Arts, which houses uh, our, which is our largest one, houses a number of majors from uh, biology to music to modern languages um, and so on to our more um, specific schools. In addition to the regular academic programs, we offer a number of special programs at the University of Mississippi. So of course we have our Honors College, but we also have a number of special programs uh, for those who are interested in specific uh, topics or majors or areas. 
like the Trent Lott Leadership Institute for those who are interested in public policy leadership and political science. Um, we hope have one of the, we're one of the only universities in the country to have two language flagship programs, um, in both Chinese and Arabic. And then we have a number of other programs like um, for Center Manufacturing Excellence, which are for engineering, accountancy, or business students who are interested in um, that integrated approach um, to learn about the manufacturing side of engineering, kind of gaining a diff little bit different experience there. Student life, we have over 400 different student organizations on campus, um, with about 31 of those being Greek life organizations. About 40% of our student body is involved in Greek life, fraternity and sororities. However, if that's not your thing, no worries at all. There's still plenty of opportunities to find your place on campus in your community. Uh, and to help with that, we have a first year residency requirement, uh, which all freshmen must live on campus. Um, we have two facilities. Um, the second one having just opened about a year ago, being pictured in the bottom picture on the screen. Um, and then we have a number of Ole Miss traditions really designed to help you integrate into campus from your very first week um, on campus all the way through your four years or more um, and to really make the most of your time at Ole Miss. We're an NCAA SEC Division I school with 16 different men's and women's athletic teams, um, including most notably football. Um, all sporting events are free for students uh, with a student ID with the exception of football, but uh, basketball, baseball, all those um, students can enter for free with their student ID. Uh, and then we have a number of Ole Miss traditions surrounding our athletics as well, um, like the Grove in this top picture, which is a 10, a 10 acre grassy area in the middle of campus. Uh, on a normal day, you might find people out there studying, throwing a frisbee around in between classes, but on game day, it turns into really amazing experience and what has been called the holy grail of tailgating. Okay, so looking a little bit more specific on the nitty gritty. So financial aid, we do offer uh, two categories of scholarships in addition to federal aid and other types of external scholarships. Um, internally, we offer non-competitive scholarships and competitive scholarships. So non-competitive are those that as long as you meet the criteria for, you automatically get them. So biggest examples are academic merit scholarship, which requires a 3.0 GPA and either a 25 ACT or 1200 SAT. Um, there's also a number of competitive scholarships that you can apply for. So our timeline of for current seniors is that you can't, we encourage you to do in-person or virtual visit, applications now open, um, and then housing special programs and all or things that come throughout the year. Okay, so I know I just ran through a lot of information very quickly, but if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat for me or any of the other uh, admissions counselors, and here's all my contact information. Um, yeah. Great, thank you so much. No problem. All right, up next we have Sacred Heart University. Hi everyone. Hi, my name is Kim Perrette. I'm with Sacred Heart University in Fairfield, Connecticut. Sacred Heart is a private Roman Catholic university. Uh, Fairfield is actually about an hour outside of New York City and about two and a half hours from Boston. So we have this beautiful suburban campus and uh, close proximity to some awesome cities as well. And there's my information and I'll put that uh, back up at the end as well. So I wanna start uh, with talking about academics. We do offer five different colleges of study, the College of Arts and Sciences, which includes our School of Communication, Media and the Arts. And that includes our very popular sports communication major. Uh, also the School of Social Work. Our Isabel Farrington College of Education, our Jack Welch College of Business and Technology, which includes the School of Computer Science and Engineering, which includes some popular majors like game design and cybersecurity. Also our Davis and Henley College of Nursing, it's a direct entry program ranked best in Connecticut. And we have our College of Health Professions as well. We actually have two campuses. Uh, one's only uh, the main campus and West Campus, West Campus being only a quarter mile down the street. 
we have 5,600 undergraduate students, 8,400 as a total student population, including our graduate students. And we're ranked top 10 for happiest students. So it's a great place to be at Sacred Heart. We have campuses actually in Ireland and Luxembourg, and then we offer study abroad in 30 other countries. We have individualized attention in the classroom. Our average class size is 22 students, student teacher ratio 13 to one. I wanna talk a little bit more about our College of Health Professions, only because this is an opportunity for a freshman student to be pre-admitted into our graduate programs. So if you're coming in as a freshman and you know you want to get your master's degree in athletic training or a physician's assistant, one of these other programs that we have, or a physical therapy doctorate, you can go ahead and be pre-admitted into those programs uh, depending on your GPA and depending on uh, your math and science grades. So it's super important to get involved no matter which college or university you go to. And Sacred Heart students are very involved in a lot of different activities. We have a lot of clubs and organizations. We're actually ranked number 10 in the country for students who give back to the community. So all of our students seem to really have a heart for service and uh, we do a lot of projects. We have a really active student government, a lot of academic clubs um, who actually go and compete with other uh, universities as well. We do have a fraternity and sorority life on campus. We have over 33 Division I NCAA teams um, and 35, over 35 club sports teams. So we are a very athletic campus, a lot of school spirit, go pioneers. Um, also performing arts is big at Sacred Heart. So we have band, orchestra, guard, several choral groups, several dance teams, theater, musical theater and straight acting. Uh, very active campus ministry program, of course, um, and our multicultural organizations are really growing. We just um, added a new diversity and inclusion center. So we're really excited about all the programming that's going on there. We have several pictures here of some of our newest campus additions. We are a growing university, one of the fastest growing Catholic universities in the US. And uh, we opened our, our brand new little diner on campus uh, about four years ago. And three years ago, our, um, our radio station and public safety facility. And then two years ago, our Bobby Valentine Athletic uh, Recreation Center. Uh, Bobby Valentine's our um, athletic director and donated this wonderful building for our students to just go work out, um, go bowling, go uh, climbing on walls and all kinds of stuff. So it's really fun. Our West Campus just opened um, a couple of years ago as well. It was the former headquarters of General Electric and, um, and there's also a hotel on that campus as well for our hospitality students. Um, we are growing and building more residence halls, and that's just a picture of our uh, university upper quad. It's just absolutely beautiful. We also have a community theater in the town of Fairfield that our students run and are able to do shows there as well. Um, this is just another uh, photo of residential life at SHU. Um, we do require two years uh, on campus housing, but I encourage you to go and look at our beautiful um, residence opportunities. Uh, they're new, they're beautiful, very uh, awesome place to live. And here's my information again. Uh, again, I'm Director of Regional Admissions, so I work with all the Georgia students, and uh, I'll put this also in the chat box as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. Up next, we have Southern Illinois University. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Tom. I'm the admissions coordinator here at Southern Illinois University. Um, the, oops. So we are among the top 5% of all uh, higher education research institutions in the nation. Um, we have about 10,000 undergraduate students here at SIU. Um, we're about seven hours, seven and a half hours away from Atlanta. So we're at, right at the very Southern tip of Illinois, um, not anywhere close to Chicago. Um, we, even though we have about 10,000 undergraduate students, we still have uh, an average student to faculty ratio of 13 to one. So you'll still have pretty small class sizes, even though we're considered a mid-sized university. Uh, our housing is really unique. Uh, this year, all students had their own dorm room. 
So they had no roommates at all, which was pretty cool. And we're gonna to try to offer it again in 2022, depending on availability. Um, we have two different campus options. We have one uh, right on Campus Lake and the other one is called our Towers and you get to pick which one you want to uh, go into. They all come um, furnished, internet, heat, cable, all that stuff um, that you need. We also have living learning communities, which is kind of cool. So that is your entire floor will be the same major that you are. So say you are like an aviation major or an education major, all, all of your um, neighbors basically will be the same major as you. So it's kind of cool. Uh, our anytime meal plan is you can eat whenever you want, basically. Um, you show your student ID and then you can eat uh, buffet style. We have tons of different options every day. So we have really good, good food here. We are division one. Uh, we are in the Missouri Valley Conference. We just added women's soccer as our newest one and we have uh, 14 other uh, division one sports. Our, we just have our spring football season going on right now and we just beat the number one uh, seeded team in the nation, uh, North Dakota State. So that's the first time they lost in five years. So we're pretty excited about that. We have over 300 registered student organizations, uh, academic organizations, religious, professional, we have Greek life, um, about anything you can imagine we have. We have a bass fishing team, uh, esports arena with an esports team. So if you have an interest and we don't have it, we would encourage you to start uh, an organization here with us at SIU. So my favorite part about SIU is that we offer in-state tuition for all domestic students. So you can be from Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, Florida, anywhere, um, you will get in-state tuition through us. 90% of our students receive some sort of financial aid. Um, we give away over $10 million in scholarships annually. And all this is our tuition fees, room and board all together is about 25,000. Um, part of the fees is health insurance. So if you're on your parents' health insurance, you can get a part of the fees reimbursed, which is super cool. We do offer automatic scholarships based on GPA. Uh, we are test optional. So we actually went test optional before the pandemic. Uh, so it worked out really well for us. And now we're staying test optional for the foreseeable future. Um, we base our scholarships purely on GPA starting at a 275. So if you have at least a 275 GPA, you will be getting a scholarship from us. Um, and if you have a really high GPA, like 3.8 hot or higher, you can compete for our full ride, our chancellor scholarship. That covers absolutely everything. You won't have to pay any out of pocket um, things, maybe except for textbooks and stuff. But other than that, it covers absolutely everything, which is super nice. Um, if, if you did do well in the ACT or SAT, you can submit it and it can bump you up uh, into the next level of scholarships, but it can't hurt you at all. So we do not require test scores. Uh, we are not part of the Common App, so you have to go on our website to apply. Uh, the fall 2022 application will be opening up uh, at the end of May, early June, and then it's a $40 application fee. Uh, we'll need your official transcripts sent over and test scores if you want them. There's no essay or anything like that. It's a very simple application. And we also have a bunch of social media, so follow us on our social media. We're on TikTok, Instagram. Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, our campus visits are open right now. So if you wanna come visit campus, you can do that. We have virtual and in-person going on. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the chat and I will get back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Up next, we have Lee University. All right, let me just get my screen. All right. So uh, Lee University is in Cleveland, Tennessee, which is um, 30 minutes outside of Chattanooga. We're about two hours from Atlanta. Um, I, my name is Marky and I am the admissions counselor for all of Georgia students. So Lee was founded in 1918. Um, we are a private Christian liberal arts university. Um, we have about 5,204 students, and we represent um, 42 states and 50 countries. Um, just some fun facts about us. We have over 100 um, student-led clubs and organizations that includes Greek clubs um, and intramural clubs, 
um, leadership clubs, um, whatever you can think of, we most likely have it. Um, we have chapel twice a week and um, you don't have to go to attend every single one, but um, there is a certain amount that you have to go to for each semester. Um, chapel is a really cool time. We have our uh, Lee worship band and students can ask if their pastor can come or if they have somebody in mind, they can always um, pitch it and uh, get them to come speak at our campus. Um, another fun fact is that students, um, every student who goes to Lee goes on a global perspectives trips. So, um, you know, obviously right now going out of the country is not always the option, but there are also some trips inside the country that students go on um, and you can get class credit. Um, it's just a really fun time to uh, meet new people and see different cultures. Um, we are also NCAA Division II in the Gulf South Conference. Um, athletics is really huge and competitive at Lee. Um, we're, we take it very serious and we are really high top competitors. We have uh, 57 majors and 158 programs of study. Um, some of our largest ones, just to name our business, um, nursing, education, and communication arts. Um, so again, those are just some of our biggest um, departments and majors right now. Um, the student teacher ratio is around 15 to one. So you still have a, a small class, but um, you know, occasionally you will have a class that is in a lecture hall that's really big, but most of the time you have a pretty small class where you kind of get that one-on-one -on -one time with your professor. The application process is very simple. It's just on our website. Um, we have rolling admissions, which basically means we don't have a deadline. Um, and right here, there's a code future flame, which waives our $25 application fee. Um, you know, right now we are test optional. Um, I don't know if that will continue as of right now, that's what we are. So um, we'll stick to it. Um, and then we'll also, for acceptance, we would need your official high school transcript. Um, if you know, I have any questions how to get that, you can always reach out and let us know. Um, but our application is on our website. It's very simple. It takes about 20 minutes to fill out and there is no essay. Um, I will, so we have two different types of housing for freshmen. We have community and suite style. Uh, community is that gonna, is gonna be that more traditional style where you just have a roommate and then your showers and bathrooms are at the end of the hall. Um, and then we have sweet style, which you share, you have a roommate and then you share a bathroom with two other people in the, in the next room that's connecting to it. Um, just an overview of tuition and fees. Um, our tuition for the year is around 20,000 and then including everything, it's around 29,000 a year. Um, that's including all of our most expensive things. So most expensive dorm room, most expensive meal plan. Um, incoming freshmen will not have the most expensive dorm room. So you're kind of dropping that number and it's around 27,000 a year before scholarships. To quickly touch on some scholarships, um, Again, we recommend filling out FAFSA. We don't require it, but um, it really is recommended for different grants. And then we also give out institutional grants. So that's why we like to have that. So some of our merit-based scholarships, um, the Dean Scholarship, these are solely based on your ACT or SAT test scores. So even though we are test optional for um, admissions, you know, if you really want one of these scholarships, we you know, still ask that you send those in. So we start off with um, a 24 through 27 on the ACT or an 1160 through a 1300 on the SAT. And the Dean Scholarship is $5,000 a year over the course of four years. Um, next after that is the Presidential. That's a 28 through a 36 on the ACT and then a 1310 through a 1600 on the SAT. And that is $7,500 a year. Again, um, you get these scores, you automatically get that scholarship. There's no applying. Um, we just have to have that official copy. Um, presidential scholars are eligible for the Centennial Scholarship. Um, our deadline has passed for this year. So a lot of our um, other scholarships, our competitive and endowment ones have um, a deadline of February 1st. So that has passed already for this year, um, but they are renewable for each year. Um, the Centennial Scholarship is not, but our competitive and endowment scholarships are renewable for every year. Um, so we have over 300 endowment scholarships. There's a lot to read through, so we don't make you go look for it and try to figure out what you can have. Um, basically on our scholarship website, you will um, kind of fill it out and it will narrow down what you can apply for based off that. So you don't have to search for exact scholarships. 
Um, if you want to contact us, here is our general admissions um, email and phone number. We still have um, campus tours every day, so come and visit us. Um, we also offer virtual ones as well. Um, and then we have pr uh, frontline days. And then we actually, uh, for it, Atlanta students, have a night called Link Up Atlanta, which is coming up on March 21st. So um, it's going to be a great time. We'll be coming to Atlanta. That's it. All right. Thank you so much. Last but not least, we have Purdue University. All righty. Let me get this up here. All right. Hi everyone, I'm Gail Plizzi. I'm the regional representative who lives in the Atlanta area and represents Purdue. Purdue is a tier one Big Ten research university, um, very dynamic, very hands-on learn and apply, uh, located in between Indianapolis and Chicago. It is in West Lafayette, Indiana, and it's about a nine hour drive from Atlanta, eight to nine hour drive or an hour fly uh, to Indianapolis and there are shuttles that run back and forth. Located in the top three, one of the top three safest college towns in the United States called West Lafayette. And you will find there it's rolling hills, parks, um, ice skating rink, um, beautiful town, restaurants, coffee shops, about 125,000 people, you know, festivals, farmers markets, ice skating rink. It's, it's really nice. Um, this is campus. It's an easy walk. 20 minutes corner to corner. You can ride bikes on it, it's flat, unlike Atlanta. <laughs> uh, you can actually, you know, rollerboard, uh, roller skate or skateboard throughout the campus. Or if it's snowing or raining, you can take the underground tunnels and walk through there or take the shuttles around campus. But it's really easy to walk it. And we're a diverse campus, all uh, 50 states, 125 countries are represented. So it's uh, also very diverse and we have about five cultural centers on campus. And these are about the 11 colleges within Purdue, all excellent, wonderful majors, anything in the STEM areas, engineering is one of the top seven in the nation, aviation's top two in the nation. Um, just any program that you would choose at Purdue because it's so hands-on, learn and apply, it's awesome. Pharmacy, vet school, cybersecurity, um, one of the best business programs in the nation as well. Very research oriented, freshman year, dive right in. We're very hands-on with research, um, world impacting research. So one of the cool things about Purdue were the cradle of astronauts. Um, we recently had 25 astronauts graduate from Purdue. We do world impacting research. So the Mars rover landing, the Perseverance, we had a professor who actually designed some of the tools for that. And students were a part of that. Honors College, we offer that nice residential hall, hands-on research, eight classes over four years, um, beautiful facility, entrepreneurship and innovation program that's unique. Purdue, we have a, a lot of students who get patents to come up with business ideas. They can launch their ideas from our business park for free. We provide the funding from our foundry. So it's one of the big things about Purdue that you should need to look into this program. I would encourage every student to do that. The Cornerstone Liberal Arts Program is a uh, integrated liberal arts is really awesome too. So they just won an award. It's awesome because um, it's integrated with our STEM programs as well. And you diversify what you're doing into other different industries. With 200 majors, you can double major, major, minor, minor. So that's what our degree plus is. The Career Center is ranked top three in the nation. Uh, has one of the best uh, co-oping and internship pro programs in the nation. I always tell my students go there, first chance that you have to go over there. 34 corporate career fairs, the largest student run career fair in the nation. So it's awesome. Uh, fun stuff, we do a Grand Prix every year. That's one of our big things. So Indianapolis is an hour away. They do the Indy 500, we do the Grand Prix. Our students create go-karts and compete. So that's a really fun thing that we do. But we have 90 sororities and fraternities. If you're interested in Greek life, we have a thousand clubs and organizations. Um, intramural sports, and we're Big Ten sports, music, um, all, all sorts of things with a thousand clubs and organizations, very leadership oriented. 95% of our uh, freshmen live on campus. We have learning communities, um, nice residential halls, different themes. 14,000, we can accommodate 14,000 students to live on campus. So it's really great. And the food's really good too. So you have award winning dining, um, five you know, like dining courts, different styles of food, some of the traditional things that you're used to, like Chick-fil-A from Atlanta area, um, but, you know, Starbucks and all that. 
I would tell you the facilities at Purdue are really nice. You have a lot of places like that built into it. And we're one of the top value schools in the nation. So we have a wonderful president, Mitch Daniels. For 10 years in a row, Purdue has been the same cost of attendance. Uh, that this, I just had replaced this slide because this is 10th year in a row. So we makes us a very high value school for the money. Um, the president doesn't want you to take any more time to graduate than you need to. So they're very much about students keeping their debt low. Um, we even have degree in three programs, three years. So um, some of the programs you can do in three years if you want to save the cost of attendance. So Purdue's really awesome for that. How do you apply to us? Common application to Purdue questions, why Purdue, why your major? Self-report your grades and your test scores. This year, past year we were test flexible. I would tell for, uh, juniors moving on, I would probably go ahead and take the SAT or ACT. We do super score, uh, highest math and verbal and the ACT sub scores, and you would do the essay. When you apply to us, the 11 academic colleges will pop up on your um, application. The majors fit within those. Choose two majors, your first choice and the second choice major. Make sure you investigate what you're interested in for a second choice major. Um, that way, if we can't admit you to the first choice, we're gonna admit you to the, you can maybe admit you to the second choice. We're a holistic review. We look at what your major is, how well you've done in high school, reflect how well you'll do in the major, um, the classes that you would take and all that stuff. So that's kind of what we're looking at. November 1st is our early action deadline date priority deadline to be considered for out-of-state scholarships, get everything complete in your file. January 15th, we let you know that's a regular decision deadline date. Here's my information. If you have any questions, thanks for your time. And that's right at six minutes. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are going to share my screen. A quick slide here. All right. So we are going to take it over to the Q&A section. Um, so we've just got one question I think uh, we've got time for. So we're going to go in order of the presenters. So University of Montevallo can go first. Um, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? So my favorite tradition is our homecoming tradition. It's called college night. Uh, it would take me hours to fully explain it, but basically the school splits into two sides, purple and gold, which is our school colors. There's lots of different co competitions between athletics and actual musical, oh. sorry, my dog's barking. Um, musical theater is a big part of it as well as a business side. So if you're interested, reach out to me, use my contact information. Thanks so much. All right, University of Mississippi. Sure, so one of our biggest traditions, uh, I would say, is probably the Grove before game day. And this will be on a normal year, uh, pre or post COVID. Um, in our Grove, our 10 acre grassy space in Mill Campus, you would have hundreds of thousands of people come out before the game and tailgate, um, everything from chandeliers hanging in these tents to just really um, a unique experience. Uh, the football team walking through on the way to games. And so that's just um, the Grove on game day is a really um, special experience for us. Sounds like it. All right, Sacred Heart University. Yeah, I think my favorite um, tradition on campus would be our annual Christmas tree lighting, which is um, in November. And it's in in our, on our lower quad in front of our beautiful chapel. And it's a, just a big evening event. And then the culmination is the lighting of the actual tree. So it's just a really great experience for our students. Um, but one thing I love too about what our students do is we're so involved in community service. We have a partnership with uh, Habitat for Humanity. And so we always do you know, some big projects with that organization as well. And so that's one of my favorites too. Wonderful, thank you. Southern Illinois University. Yeah, uh, my favorite is we do a great cardboard boat regatta. So students make a cardboard boat and they try to sail it across our campus lake. Um, and the last one still floating wins usually. So uh, <laughs> that's a fun, fun tradition we do. Very cool. Lee University. So we have a night called Dorm Wars. So basically every dorm uh, comes up with a theme and they practice for a, a couple months. 
and we have a bunch of different events. We have an obstacle course, we have shopping carts or um, yeah, shopping cart races. Um, and then there's like a trivia aspect to it. Um, and then if you don't want to get involved with any of that, uh, you can just be, there's like a dance at the beginning, each dorm creates a dance. Um, so yeah, you get to come up with a really cool theme and it's a huge secret. Um, you don't tell anybody outside of your dorm. Um, and then you, you come there, compete, and then the winners get trophies. Nice. All right. Purdue University. So I think I mentioned it earlier, they have the Grand Prix every year. So it's a big weekend thing. And they have a section of campus where the students who've created go-karts um, and they build it themselves. And usually anything from engineering, the technology areas, but it could be the sororities, fraternities do that and they compete. They have a big whole track that they compete on. And it's, uh, you know, alums come in for the weekend and all that. So it's a lot of fun. It's so fun. All right. Well, I just want to thank everyone for coming to this event. We really appreciate you taking your time to do so. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions when you can. In about a week, you'll be able to see this session's recording as well as all the other session recordings at strivescan.com backslash probe. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a wonderful rest of your night.